morning and welcome to the Select International Cricket Stadium. We're here for the fourth day of the first test match in the Dutch Bangla Bank series. And they came out with uh, flying colours. Sri Lanka looking dangerous with the new ball. Only has bowled 13 overs in that second innings. And with him, would you believe it, Taijul Islam one more time, the night watchman. I was also surprised not to see him come earlier. That just tells you they're just looking for to really rock and break Bangladesh's backbone like this. They were in a position to declare long before. We'll open the uh, proceedings. Straight away, three slips in place. That has been the case. That's well. Again, shape into the left-hander. So first runs this morning for Mominul Haq. So you got to be uh, really up for it, especially to ensure that when you go in to open the innings, uh, and that goes not only, not only for uh, Chapsin, given straight away. It's Taijul Islam. He'll probably have a little bit of a chat with uh, Mominul Haq. It looks like uh, he might be in trouble here. Two reviews available, and he takes it. He's been Bangladesh's best batter in this test match, to be honest. I've checked both feet. It's a fair delivery. Can we get a front on, please? Front on coming up now, Chris. All the balls so far? Yep. Chris. Impact in line and hitting wickets. It's three reds. Chris, you'll be staying with your original decision of out. I'll let you know when you're on screen. You're on screen now, Chris. Yeah, plumb in front, the first ball that Taijul Islam faces, he has to depart. Bangladesh loses another wicket. Taijul goes for six. It's 51 for... Again, well ball just might be a touch high. But when you bowl on a length, when you hit that length, some tend to skid through, some bounce on you. Ball tracking coming up now, Chris. Impact is in line and missing the wickets. So stay with your original decision of not out. I'll let you know when you're on screen. You're on screen now. On the back of 200s. Chandimal and Angelo Matthews, and then was run out. That? It's going to be tough. Nice looking shot right from the middle part of the bat. Nothing wrong in the shot. It's perfectly good balance. Just leans into it. Should come back for the third. And you've got to be spot on in picking up the right ones to play and try to look to score. In a test match, you've got to respect the bowlers because they've been very disciplined. Ooh. His base was good. Played it late. Ooh. It was not a big swing of the back. Got in control. And he was allowed to free his arms. He's uh, played that nicely here. Medis and Mirage. Positive blow. Hit it hard. Chandimal tried, but. It way too hard. Bit of an opportunity to score. Lensi has been bowling. That's a good shot. Two full by Lara Kumara. Driven away through uh, extra cover. Prabha Jai Suryan pursuit. And trickles away. Good shot by Mehdi. Good looking stroke from Mehdi Hassan Miraj. He loves playing those drives with those high elbow. Yes, it was there to be hit. It was nicely driven. He's someone who loves batting. Initially started his career as an off-spinner, but gradually he also made his mark with the bat. Had a test. Had a handful of uh, one days as well. That's not another good shot by Mumunul Haq to full. Driven down the ground and Chandimal beaten ease. 
Uh, three played the three ODIs in Chotagram was very impressive, especially in the last ODI. And all of a sudden thrown into this match. He's been good. This is a good shot. Again, leaning with the weight forward. Not much feet movement. And look at the hit position. Brilliant. Again, playing it late. Let the ball to come on to the bat. Never try to hit that too hard. That's a cracking stroke. That's a gorgeous looking shot from Mominul Hawk. Presenting the full face of the bat. Now, any youngster watching, that's how you play off drive. All around the ground, nice movement. Straight bat, a check drive. Beautifully played. Mominul Hawk, top notch. Did the initially hard work. Determination, grit, valuing his wicket. Now, whatever in his area. And it's just a hint of wit. Has lashed onto that one, gets himself a single. To yeah! All inside, I think. Did he get a bit of bad appeal? Umpire says not interested, and uh, they don't. Nice, nice. Really beautiful shot to get four runs. Just a hint of width and immediately does well in the flourish of the bat. Delightful shot. Call from the slips is to be patient. Now Rajit, as we mentioned, makes the adjustment. Goes fuller. He's in such a good zone at the moment. Leans into it, Mominol. That's because of the defense on offer. Flight given immediately. <laughs> it's uh, threaded the needle wonderfully well. Despairing efforts, and the ball is going to get to the boundary. That is very, very nicely done. Superb play. He played, tossed up, and he opened the face of the bat to get the gap. But funny moments in cricket. There we go. <laughs> Lai Rukumara. Well, he'll say, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Not happy, Prabhat. <laughs> Just had the two for a while. That is uh, riding the up bounce very, very well. Finding the fielder in the deep. Positive intentions shown now. The ball is tiring slightly. Post up. Oh, nicely done. Waits and slaps it away. And he's going to race away to the boundary. Such a confident looking shot that was. Touch of arrogance in that. Lazy elegance, you can say. Not a tall lad. Short stride. Uses the wrist to get it finer. And also, hundreds on the board for Bangladesh. Could have been aerial, but he had total control over where he was hitting it. Oh, he should. Nice looking shot. Eases into that one. And once again, the ball is going to get to the boundary before the fielder. That is another over completed. 105 for six. Got them back. This is the boundary of the last ball of the previous over. That was hit on the up. Aerial, but right in the middle of the gap. <coughs> the line a lot closer to Mehdi for that wicket. Nicely deflected, more runs. Little T switch for Fernando all the way. Well, the runs are coming now. The last over was the most expensive 10 runs coming of it. Already five in this over. Just a tickle room. Inside part of the bat. Enough. It went fine enough. Did not. Uh, backs away and cracks it through. Wow, what a terrific shot that is. Just a tad short. They pounced on that one. Now he's hit three fours of the last three deliveries he's faced. Now this one was short. He takes it off the stumps, Medias and Mirage. We won, we got, we won, we got. Really, really good. The options and uh, the mindset he's showing is putting. Nicely done. It just eases into that one. So comfortably, and there are a couple of runs here for the taking. A little bit of a fumble in the deep. 
Outside edge and taken. That's a first loose stroke attempted by Miraj. Brings in the downfall. Full just outside the off stump. And a good catch by Dananja De Silva. He can't do anything wrong in this test match. You've picked up a wicket of your first delivery for Rizma Aruf. Yeah. It was up, wasn't it? And he went for that big expansive drive. And all he had to do is get an outside edge. Yes, he knows it's important. Mediatan Raj did put up a fight. Has to go. Gone for 33. 117 for 7. And tries to bowl that uh, Yorker. Turns out to be a low full toss. He should come back for the second. He's been uh, really good throughout the test match. Sri Lanka. And whenever he has got an opportunity, he's uh, picked up runs. Uh, A ball, a ball, that zipped through. Shariful Islam playing for the turn, and this went with the arm. Good delivery, and impressively, take a look at the bounce where Kusal Mendes collects it. His uh, belly for the bowlers, and as the as the day progressed, it was uh, spinners had played a bigger role. Taijul Islam picked a, a ten for. I'm not saying uh, I would I want to see a spin friendly track. Something for the spinners. That's what I would like to see. Shot. Shot. He's uh, played some gorgeous looking shots. We've seen coming to Mendes uh, earlier on. This time it's again the left hander. Moment luck. Crashes one through. He's moving away, but he squeezes one pass through the slip score run. So he'll get a moment luck on strike. Coming to Mendes at third slip, saved three runs there. Valiant attempt onto his left. Back of the length. Steve bounce. Doesn't fancy it, Chori for Islam to call the stumps. Just given one single away. Field remains the same, and I think Dananja Dishil will be quite happy to give uh, Mohamed al a single and get Shariful Islam back at the strikers and to have a burst just before lunch. Well batted, Shariful Islam. And that's lunch. As this session, uh, Sri Lanka bowl 25 overs. So the over it, uh, has been fantastic. And they managed to pick up two wickets. And Bangladesh has managed to score 82 runs in the first session. Thanks to that wonderful knock uh, from uh, the former skipper, Momen al who remains unbeaten on 46 of 112 deliveries. There were resistance from Medias and Mirage when they added 66. Uh, but in the end, uh, they're still uh, not out of the woods. That's a partnership that I'm talking about, 66 of 105 between Momin al and Medias and Miraj. It looked uh, good for Bangladesh. Well, it's Shuriful Islam and Momin al are still unbeaten at the crease. The all four frontline bowlers getting a decent uh, out in there. Fernando picked up three because yesterday Rajita was very impressive. Today picked up a couple which went uh, fallen both of uh, Taijul and Miraj and Kumara was good. Welcome back. Bangladesh playing Sri Lanka in the Dutch Bangla Bank series. The first test, complete domination by Sri Lanka right the way through. And Bangladesh really looking down the barrel of a gun. This is the situation in the second innings. 46 only resistance from Mohan Il Haq. Viraj is back in the hut and now he's going to back with the latter order batters. 3 for 48 for Rajita and a wicket for Lahiru Kumara. They haven't really allowed the Bangladeshi batters to settle down. Now it stands at the moment, 280 compiled by Sri Lanka, Bangladesh faltering, falling by once again a couple of centuries from the same two batters. Third time in test history that's uh, happened. And Bangladesh in their second innings are really faltering and really floundering and searching for answers 
as uh, the hyped up Sri Lankans come in looking to wrap things up quickly. Door resistance is required from the Bangladeshi batters. They've got Momin ul Haq, the former captain, was. And the ball was about 10 meters away. Well, Shariful Islam, Momin ul Haq, job to do. Momin ul's on to 40. Sixes look very, very good. He's battered with a lot of control, composure. Key left the ball well. And not got carried away with stroke play. Hit six fours, drove the ball brilliantly. That partnership with uh, Mehdi Hassan was impressive, but... The last thing you want to do in a test match, you will be given the lesson if you get carried away. Cannot afford to just get a little cocky, get a little arrogant. Overconfidence is always the sign of disaster, and that's what happened to Mehdi Hassan Miraj. Shariful Islam, uh, really, with the top orders not performing. Prabhat Surya to start of proceedings. Eases into that shot, into the deep, and ambles the single. They wouldn't mind that. Get him off strike. Ball at the others. Results. But it's crucial to maintain the mindset of those players, not to fall away. Just can't do it alone. Test match, we keep on saying, test all your faculties. Well, I'd like to bowl a rocket, but this one was angling in and nicely played away once again. But Momin al -Hawk keeps on taking a, a run of the very first ball of each over that he's faced today. Shoriful is uh, going to be given something to think about, but that ball really went way over the head, allowed Shoriful to go back to the safety of the non-striker's end. This looks solid in his own little way. We've seen that happen many times, swinging on the keeper. <laughs> Cut set. In the air for a while. Gone through, coming back for the second run, and he makes it. And it makes it to his 50. What a well compiled 50 under the circumstances. A little bit of luck to go his way. 116 balls. Uh, drifting down leg, straighter delivery, whipped away. A lot of pace on that ball, and he's going to go to the boundary. Easy as they come. That was superb. Just watch him lean into it. He picks up the line. He's taken it from outside off stump. Effortlessly put away. Matthew's also glad that he hit it well. That he ran away very quickly to the boundary. Oh, he's uh, got quite a bit of bat on that one. Didn't have the full flourish. <laughs> Matthews ambling across, hoping that Shoriful will take that second one, but they don't want to make a big one. What we don't see is we saw a few good shots, but the way he's left the ball and defended is what set him up. That's been the essence, and that, that's what's needed in a test match in existence. We keep on harping on the fact. He's done well. That was directed. That was intentional as he came over the wicket, trying to cramp him and make him maybe a prod and put that ball away to that forward shot leg fielder. No, he watched it well. Just deflected it around the corner, Shoriful. Hit that field. It's quite predictable. Actually, it's a leg by, you'd say. Off that tie pad. Nicely easing into that shot. What about that? Takes a couple of steps forward and hits it down the line to the boundary. This is top class batting here from Momin Ends the over. 145 for seven. If you can use them well, it's very effective. Down the wicket goes Momin 
You can't do that. Lairo Kumar is supposed to be a fast bowler. But how easily he hit that. He's seeing it like a... Oh, cramped him for space. That was a good ball. Just that awkward bounce. He's not quite gauging. The bounce off the track. Did well at the last moment to get something on it. Getting a little bit of movement in towards the left-hander. That's why he's cramped. It's him high on the bat and late. Track. Oh, yeah. That's happened for the second time. That's a wide. Last ball of the previous over also went over the head. Allowed Mominil to get to the other end to retain strike. There's going to be an extra ball here. And when they want to bowl that short one, they've got to bend their back a lot more. Because that zip's gone off. Softer ball. Where the equation turns towards the batters and you've got to be in a position to capitalize on it. Got one ball to Shoriful. Still guide away. He's not going to run. Peeler in the deep is waiting for Mominol to go across. Mominol wanted the single. But look at Shoriful. The hand comes up straight away. Whoa, 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 he says. <laughs> Once again, you see what Mominol is doing to the bowlers. He's forcing them once in a while to try and bowl it a tad straighter and when it's maybe angling down the leg side that's when he can flick the balls away this time around well watched oh dear just managed to just get a bit of bat one hand down that had a bit of pace on it and it's targeting the body making it uncomfortable for sure, full. Yeah, Chris Gaffney having a quick word, just trying to make sure that didn't hit him on the helmet. Hit the wire, didn't it? Off the glove. Very strict on concussions these days in any sport. And the chin music continues for Shoriful. What about that? Full face of the bat. The chase on here. Shoriful is playing like a proper batter. 151 now for seven. Nice. Eased into that shot. And a run of the first ball once again. Spinning off his bat. Moving really well. Shoriful is not doing too badly either. Look at the way he maneuvered that ball into the deep. It is very, very refreshing. This is very good to watch. Oh, cuts that away. A lot of power. A oh, good work in the deep. Good commitment. Even though they're dictating terms, you'd like to see good fielding any time of the day. Quiet test match for Chandimal. With an offer. And once in a while, there will be that. The bowlers will be tiring. It's a nice, pleasant day, very pleasant conditions here in Sillet. Good work. Uh, drifting down leg. Now, the bowlers being forced into. Little errors, trying to bowl it short. Oh, he throws his bat at it, gets an edge, deflects off the diving attempt to field. Ah, uh, could have been something for the Sri Lankans, but not to be. 157 for seven. Delivery. Oh. Well, just was in between the slip and the first slip and the keeper. Look how wide the first slip is. He's actually in the second slip position. Should have been in the conventional first slip position. Would have been an easier one. Really went after it. But he got to hand it over. Somehow he's managed to survive. And somehow he's managed to put that away for a single to get a moment. 
Ruffled as well with the top order, the late order putting up a fight, especially Momin Locke, you can't call him a late order batsman, he's a top order batter. But Taijul Islam, Medias and Miraz, Shoriful Islam. That's the fight you like to see at this level of uh, this. Huge appeal by the uh, slip cord, but I think bat was, the noise was bat hitting the ground more than anything. No damage done, and Momin luck. he's been superb. Yeah, he came in number four, and, oh! and now he uh, picks up another boundary. And it does get better. You can understand, and you know, a lot of uh, people will be thinking that he's played well. Uh, beautiful Islam. Sri Lanka would have hoped that uh, getting into the last. Uh, three or four batters, they would uh, go and uh, pick up uh, wickets at regular intervals, hasn't uh, been the case. And he's uh, put up a fight. Walking cross to the off stump. Don't understand this tactic. Last ball of Shariful Islam, there's easy two runs. Didn't take that. Was happy with one. The first slip in the convincing position. And this time, Shariful Islam, it was too loose. He was batting so well, all of a sudden, trying to up a gear. And Kasun right off his own bowling, takes a sitter. Try to play some shots. Now, what's happening here? Well, he took his time, but he's uh, now walking back. Now, you don't want to see him playing shots. And the moment he attempted to play the shot on the app, straight back to the bowler. Well, probably that was one of the reasons why Momin Luck wanted to shade him away from uh, Rajita. But he did got the single and get him on strike. He's gone. Gone for 12. Eight down for 164. It's a nick straight away. Take it first ball. And he has uh, picked up a five for now. Well, he's picked up two and two. A good delivery by Kasun Radita, right on the money. Not much Kali Dhamad would have done. Beautiful length, seam position was good. And Kusal Mendes, safe as houses. Well deserves Kasun Radita. Pulled in the second innings with a nickel. Picks up a 5 5. Kali Dhamad, gone without scoring. 164 for 9, Bangladesh. And uh, it will be their first points in the World Test Championships also. <laughs> Just on Kasun Rath to finish off, last time when he picked up the Pfeiffer against Bangladesh, he came into the side as a concussion sub for Vishya Fernando. The ball real well up in Mirpur, got the ball to move. And similarly, in this Test match, was very effective. And most importantly, he bowled through an eagle. We saw even yesterday when he was uh, warming. Yes, field in. I'm going to take you on. He's uh, picked up a boundary here. And that was coming. Goes all the way. Square leg was up. mid wicket was up. Invitation was given. And accepts it with both hands. Safe shot. Got his foot outside the yaw stump. Played with the turn and middle of the bat, and Momin Al Haq clears the boundary with ease. Square leg drops back. It's a short, and this is on the offside. Poor delivery gets the treatment. Six and a four. The easy run's been given away by Prabhat Jai Surya. This was a long hop. Trying to go across the left hand, the quicker delivery. But Momin Luck did well. He held its crease, held its line, and smashed it. Almost a free hit. Last ball coming up. Everyone to save the single. Yeah, he wanted to, to get a single, but that has gone to the boundary. 178 for nine. Wait a minute. Oh. Off the pad, 
definitely getting some movement towards uh, the right hand. Yeah, the idea would lo looks like that he wants to uh, have him uh, fending off to short leg. But he's just going a little bit wide and so off uh, the body. How to ensure to play a longer inning. Defending, on, not only defending, also making sure that you're not uh, chasing a wide delivery. Certainly, a lot of homework to be done. Track and goes over the top. Freebie, again, quicker down the left side. Vishu Fernando was there as a short fine leg, but goes over it. Yeah, the writing is on the wall. But there is also some interest here, especially for Momin ul -Haq, with that boundary moves to 87. Can he manage to pick up 13 runs and pick up his 13 test match, 100? The feet. Again, a nicely directed delivery and picked up the final wicket. Lahiru Kumara finishes things off for Sri Lanka. Was a nasty delivery for someone like Rana to face. They had nowhere to go. Evasive action. He tried to take the bottom hand, came off the bat, but it hits the bat and just loops to the slips. Mominul Haq then he remains unbeaten on 87. The others unable to hang in there. He bowled well. They have a good signs for Bangladesh on his debut test match from Rana. But the Sri Lankans are the happier bunch. Been able to fight back and whenever someone got in, they made sure it was a big one and game-changing efforts. Yes, thumbs up. Lost the toss, put to bat in. Bat first on a green pitch. We did feel it was a good toss to lose at that stage and it has turned out to be so. 328 run win, a massive one. It's a commanding performance from Sri Lanka. And with that win, they also registered their first points in the World Test Championship table. They lost their first two matches against Pakistan. It has been a convincing performance with the ball and also with the bat. Pittingly, Dananjay De Silva takes the catch. He's been very, very good in the slips as well. He's led the team from the front, the runs under pressure and then very proactive with how he managed his bowlers and put pressure on Bangladesh. Lot to think about Bangladesh. Ajmul Hossein Shanto found themselves on the back foot but a lot of the stroke play, a lot of the options questionable and hence this massive loss. Four days in between and then the second test in Chattagram. It's a quick turnaround, but for now, Mominul Haq making up for his failure in the first innings. 87 brilliantly made runs. Had a little bit of support from Medias and Miraj. But nothing else to really talk about. Yeah, because Mominul and Mehdi's 66 run partnership has been the only highlighting aspect for Bangladesh in the second innings. Other than that, lack of partnership has been the biggest concern for Bangladesh with the bat in the test format. And it showed yet again they need to improve a lot in the second and final test in Chotrugam. It has been a convincing performance with the ball for Sri Lanka. Seamers have taken all the 20 wickets with Rajita picking up his five wicket haul. Fernando picked up three and Kumara picking up the last wicket of Rana to pick up his second wicket of yeah, they go on to lead the series 1-0 with a convincing performance at the Silet International Cricket Stadium. It's their second joint biggest margin win in test form at for Sri Lanka. And for Bangladesh, it's their sixth biggest loss in test format. But they need to catch up and make sure they go on to perform better in Chotrogram to save the series.
All right, we'll take a short break and we'll come back with the presentation. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.